in the 13 years we've been here, <laughs> the change has been phenomenal. I think part of that is people staying here or people have moved here have infused their own flavor onto the city now. Instead of talking about the rejuvenation of Newcastle, it was time to do something about it. Being a developer and builder in the background, that's what I got in to do. Um, and we developed this old space, got rid of the dirt floors and really turned it into a pretty versatile venue. We were lucky, similar to Melbourne, in that we have these old buildings that can be rejuvenated into working spaces now and it's somewhat different than having just a new modern sleek city. It's, it's got a mix of old and new. I think one of the great things in Newcastle that uh, people don't even realize is that it nurtured culture and it nurtured craftsmanship. We've got a, an eclectic music scene, an art scene, a sculpture scene, theater. Um, you have all those um, parts of culture that people really like to see and, and maybe you're not fighting an hour of traffic to get to them. I call Newcastle really the Melbourne of New South Wales and I've said it to a few people and I had a fellow said to me, oh, it's like Melbourne up there now with all the laneways and different things and the old buildings that you didn't get rid of up there and, and that's really what's starting to come out now and once they come and visit they realize Oh, you know, this has really got something to offer here. The laid-backness comes through the fact that there's not that many people grinding to get places because of the traffic or the jam-packed on the train or all of that, I think, creates a lot less stress. It's just the ability to walk around the city. So with the number of Eat Street precincts that we have here, Darby and King Street's become one. Beaumont Street in Hamilton is changing all the time. Honeysuckle Precinct, you've got places down near the water. Um, so many of the things that people say, oh, I'd like to be in Melbourne or Sydney or Brisbane for, I think Newcastle has those now. But I think more people uh, have that flexibility to choose where they live if they're good at what they do or they want to start something. And I think the city has a number of those attributes that will make it attractive for people.